So welcome and good morning. It is great to see so many people here. It would just be so beautiful for Peterborough if you could have pollinator pathways. And so what that means is, you know, different types of gardens that um, will encourage pollinators to come and pollinate those flowers and, you know, move on to the next flowers. It's partly discovery what already exists. I mean, there are all kinds of people who already know a lot and have uh, native species growing in their gardens. But really the idea of po uh, pollinator pathways is citizen-led. The idea behind it is to reimagine what urban space can look like. You know, we want to encourage pollinators to come back. They're, they're, they're facing, just like we are, you know, climate change issues and their population has been in decline for the last 10 years. It's, it's a matter of, of identifying, you know, what already exists too and linking that and supporting each other because that's what community is about. So these are pollinators and we're pollinators too because we can connect with each other. What I'm leaving with is excitement about um, putting my hands in the dirt and really uh, feeling it. More connectivity, that's what I'm experiencing, just meeting some new people and um, sharing resources and getting some energy uh, underneath this. I can actually see a picture in my head now of what my front yard is going to look like <laughs> in a couple of months. And that may just mean that it's covered in newspaper. <laughs> But I've learned that that's really cool <laughs> as of today. Um, and what I'm leaving with is a sense of urgency. I want the snow to go away. I want to get started on this. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to think about what is actually going to happen come spring. There are a lot of doors that have opened that I, I didn't even know the doors were there. Um, I came in with certain ideas and um, yeah, my mind's been kind of blown. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing what can happen in a couple of hours. So, and what am I leaving with you today? Um, just a lot of inspiration, um, a lot of excitement and energy for projects that I'm hoping to get involved with, and um, just really excited about all the new connections I've made, and uh, just what an amazing, welcoming group everybody's been. I just have to say how uh, impressed I am with uh, how everything unfolded uh, this morning, the, the process, uh, very impressive. Uh, all of the conversations, the uh, deep conversations that took place, I found that extremely uh, enlightening, uh, impressive, and just on a tangible level, a uh, concrete level, the fact that we're meeting again, that we are talking about workshops, that uh, photos, you know, there's many different uh, avenues of action that are already opening up that uh, are exciting. I think that there's um, a fairly intricate um, connection or pathway or way of moving to help engage youth which can help um, with the sort of sustainability of this project in our community um, and I think I'm leaving with an excitement of um, the new connections that I've made and a way to be involved in that. 
I think what's possible now is at least three projects, probably even more, which is super cool. And I can see the development of new relationships already taking place and manifesting in the community. And I'm leaving with a sense of, damn, this works. Uh, I'm leaving with a sense of something that we've been talking about for a few weeks in a small and very excited circle, having taken a big, a big leap into a, a wider circle, um, into schools, into media, into uh, a bunch of things that are about to happen. I'm thrilled with the people I met here this morning. So I, I experienced a, a basically a data collection exercise this morning, which makes the next step possible for me in that map over there, um, which gives me some courage to go forward about noting what's on the ground. Uh, coming out of this uh, for future is, uh, you know, there are always new connections in this process, and that's a beautiful thing, and a particular reconnection with a fellow data modeler. So we'll sit down and make some magic happen to support this initiative. I came here today kind of vaguely. I, I would really like to do this. I don't know how. I don't know. I don't have enough knowledge to do this. And I'm leaving really thrilled that I think that this is going to be a reality, that uh, the pet project that I pitched has help and lots of great resources are out there and we just have to tap into them and get that team building going on so I'm leaving really excited. Well I've realized how excited and exciting this whole project is when we started um, about a month ago there was only about four or five of us and it was just an idea and we knew it was a great idea um, we just didn't know how to make it manifest and meeting today with so many new people and new friends as well as old friends you know I can see that vision happen you know and it's it's we're gonna have such a beautiful city um, because of all the different community interaction and the interaction between the pollinators and the flowers and so I'm leaving with um, just so much excitement <laughs> and deep happiness well I think a lot of possibilities have emerged that are linked one of them is the map of what a actually exists and the awareness that we need to be thinking about what actually exists uh, pooling of research, uh, the, the people who have definite knowledge about what all already exists in terms of knowledge about gardening and a knowledge about um, organizations that are already doing this. So that is a lot clearer to me. And I'm leaving with a uh, really strong sense that this is going to happen. Well, I didn't know if it was going to be mostly talk or if it was going to be action, and I really got a practical bent. So I am really, really happy to leave with like a couple of solid practical projects that I'm looking <laughs> forward to participating in. <laughs> I think what's possible now is just building on what all of you said, is that the resources are here in the community, uh, the people are here, and um, it's just a matter of having more sessions like this to connect them all. And I think what I'm leaving with is, um, I think, a deeper kind of collective consciousness, not just with each other, but also with plants and, and insects. And uh, I think that's something that we really developed together collectively, is this deep respect uh, for something beyond ourselves, beyond the end of our nose. And uh, I really appreciate that and I'm excited to move forward. I think I've been drawn to the idea of possibilities of pollination, but what happened today was, as someone without a not, lot of knowledge around it, I now see entry levels and um, friends that can guide me along the way and partnerships, and um, I now see that the gravity of the situation, and I think it's possible to do something about it. And I'm leaving with a great deal of gratitude for the people in the room and the commitment um, that has been shown by those that joined us today that initiated it and I'm really excited about what happens next.